Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Benhene. If you're new, you're welcome. If you haven't seen this face before, my name is Akusia Benhene. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Just know that I love you, okay? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few things. If, if, if the title says 10 things, then it is 10 things that I have learned in my first year of marriage. I'd like to say that 10 things that I have learned that I feel like we have lived by that has helped us that I feel like I wanted to share. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things that I have learned and we have lived by in our first year of marriage. So if you're interested in watching and learning or listening or whatever, then definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload whenever I do that. I always upload on Wednesdays and Sundays. So just so you guys know, just so you guys know. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's roll the intro. You know we have to roll the intro. We can't do the video without the intro. Then it's not a video, okay? So let's roll the intro. <laughs> okay, so before I get into it, you guys follow me here so obviously you guys have watched our video and everything we have been married for a year and a half now but we've been dating all in like a proper relationship for close to three to four years three and a half to four years if if yeah if i'm right so i am going to say that everything that i'm going to talk about in the video or all the things that i'm going to talk about are things that i'd say that we have been doing way before we got married or we were doing them and then we brought them into the marriage so you know honestly i don't feel like things that you do in the marriage are things that you guys just like pick up some of the things you obviously will learn in marriage so as and when i get there i'll let you guys know what enough of the chit chat let, let's just let's just get into the points so my first point i have them written down here so if you see me looking down don't say anything but my first point is when you're going into marriage first of all do not expect anything you know because i'm saying this because like a lot of people feel like once you get married things change like once you get really the only thing that changes is maybe you guys weren't living together and then you guys come and live together that's the only thing that would change but really nothing changes you are still with the same person the character will not change except if you both like decide to put on some characters that you don't show up until you get married for which i don't know why you would do that but really nothing changes so don't expect that once you get married something is going to change like and don't try to put on some attitude just because you're expecting something to change because you're married you get what i'm trying to say so don't go in with expectations you're with the person you've been dating the person for however long just 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 go in and have fun just go in and have fun with this person so one thing that i learned is that don't expect anything when you're getting into marriage in all honesty i didn't have anybody tell me because growing up from like a Ghanaian background i knew that marriage was like a big deal and then once you get married like so i felt like i had to expect something so that's why i'm saying that don't expect anything when you're getting married like don't think that once you get married uh, really once you get married sis you're still you okay so let's go to our next point so point number two communication is key this is like this is something that i say every day if you know me i say that communication is key between you both that's one thing that we have learned in our journey or in our relationship everything make sure that you're communicating don't just assume or don't just think that your partner would know you know like you both are not magicians like you're both human beings human beings trying to grow on like your parts and everything and supporting each other so really try to communicate that's the only way things will move smoothly in all honesty if you like peace of mind like myself communicate make sure that you're communicating adequately make sure that your partner knows how you feel 
everything like in every i've seen that communication like really works like in your sex life like take it from me i am telling you communication really works just sit down like adults don't don't act like don't talk on top like don't don't the fact that you have to communicate or get your point across doesn't mean that you have to like say it aggressively you have to both act like adults and just communicate make sure that your partner knows what is on your mind make sure that he knows like make sure that you know what is on his mind and then things will flow very smooth at the end of the day you guys will realize that like everything is smooth you know like I, I i'm sure you guys get the the vibe so yeah communication is really key communication is very important in every relationship not just marriage communication is important in friendships and family every every in job places like literally everywhere so communication really is key oh i'm actually very excited about point number three learn each other's love languages so a little backstory on how me and my husband learned our love languages so i did know about love languages for a pretty long time but then i didn't know how effective it actually was that is it it is very effective the thing is if you know your partner's love language and if your partner knows your love language it makes it very easy for you guys to live together it is like it works like a charm I take it from me i'm not even joking like both me and my partner let me just use us as an example both me and my partner our love languages are, are, are acts of service so as and when i do something for him like when i cook for my husband or like like when i do something for him that is a that is an act of service like doing his toenails like doing the pedicure for like he just likes those things and i also like those things like you know what i mean so it goes hand in hand and we both know that he he knows that that's what i like i know that that's what he likes so by the time he comes back from work i've cooked for him you know like but it, you know like just the little little things they help the relationship grow they help you like appreciate each other a lot more so love languages are very important like very very important i won't even over like i don't even want to overemphasize, but it really is important so you know you need to know your partner's love language that's what we've that's one of the things that we've learned over the year is that like we we have to know each other's love language we actually took a quiz for it like it's actually fun to do we took a quiz for it and he <laughs> like it's actually fun to do so if you have a boyfriend or like a partner or if you're married or whatever i'm gonna look for a link and put it down below so that you can check and take the test with your partner so that you guys can know each other's love language because it really will help you guys to grow your relationship make you more stronger like trust me it just brings this spark it's like oh i know the trick you know like it's so fun <laughs> <Coffee>. <laughs> point number four appreciate each other's effort imagine if you do something for someone and the person doesn't say thank you it hurts right so it just it just like the way you would treat your friend outside bring the same treatment to your partner if they do something for you be sure to say thank you don't feel like it's a responsibility let me take that again don't feel like what i'm doing for you or what you are doing for me is a responsibility that's one thing that we have learned over the years. We know for a fact that we were not obliged. I love to cook for my husband. Like, I just love to cook. So cooking is not something that I'm stressed. I'm stressed when I'm doing. On the other hand, my husband loves to clean. It's crazy. Like, he will clean the whole house without stress. Like, he will be fine and smiling and buzzing after. I will be drained. <laughs> but i love to keep things in order you know so everybody is different so just make sure that you're appreciating each other's efforts like 
when I cook, he says thank you. He doesn't need to say thank you, you know, like I'm his wife. Like he doesn't need to say thank you. But he does say thank you and it makes me feel good. And then the next time when I'm cooking, I feel like, oh, like, you know, like I'm smiling. Like I just want to cook, you know what I mean? So, and then when he cleans, I also feel good. Like I say nice stuff to him. Like, so just make sure that you guys are appreciating each other's efforts. Like it makes you both feel like you're loved. Appreciation goes so much. It goes such a long way to also making your relationship grow and helping you guys get strong so yeah point number five will will definitely be for like my younger couple i don't know which other people will be watching me but in this like world and in this era and everything that is good social media and everything like it's very easy to be real if i'm being very honest and very real like it's very easy for you to compare your relationship or like compare your marriage to social media and things that you see and stuff like that it's actually very easy for you to do that so my next point is do not compare like do not compare like be love each other enough to not compare like there's one thing that i have also learned like the fact that somebody is doing something on social media doesn't mean that you guys have to do the same thing I was listening to a podcast, I think yesterday or something like that. That's even what brought me to this point. And they were talking about relationship goals and how right now there's a hashtag relationship goals and social media has all of that. And like, when you, like obviously, you, when you see stuff on social media, you think that everything is perfect and everything is... So you wish there's fire on every mountain. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, there's every in everybody's home, there's something going on like social media will never bring bring out the bad side social media will never come and sit down and say oh me and my husband are doing this and me and my husband have these problems and yada yada you know what i'm trying to say so try as much as possible to be content with the relationship that you have the love that you have the commitment that you guys have you know yeah that's all i have to say about that point the world is crazy so protect your love protect your space make sure that you're loving each other strong be ready to get out of your comfort zone learn and grow marriage definitely teaches you a lot and helps you to grow it helps you to mature especially if you guys have a child and like you guys you guys are adults so you guys are like you guys have to grow so you should be ready to be the uncomfortable part that i'm talking about is you're going to be sleeping in bed with this person every day so if you snore be ready like just be ready to be at all levels of yourself in front of this person like you're not going to hide anything you're bringing it all out so you should be ready to be as uncomfortable. And that's one thing that I am super, super grateful. That is one thing that I prayed for so much that somebody that would not make me feel for even one second uncomfortable. And that is how I am with my husband. I'm so grateful for just that, that thing that, that, that is there, you know, like he doesn't make me feel for a second that like, like you are not worthy or like this part of you is not okay or this thing of you is not okay you know like there's never that instance and that's one thing that makes me feel like this is the one for me so be ready when you get married and you have made up your mind that you're married to this person be ready that you're going to be uncomfortable on all levels be ready that you're going to lay it all bare because like before i got married i had so much ego like you know like you be when you're single is different when you get married it's also different now you're together so everything is together so be ready to be uncomfortable on all levels my next point is sometimes love might fail or sometimes love will fail sometimes if you have even spoken to older people who have been in relationships for a long time for a long time they tell you that love is not all of it and really we have been together like i said we've been together for three to four years and been married for one one and a half year so everything that i'm talking about 
pulls over like through the stretch of stretch of our relationship so love sometimes will not always be it sometimes you would have to look for something else but love you know sometimes love will fail you sometimes you need something more so it is not always about love you have to be buddies literally you have to like he has to be your brother he has to be your sister he has to be your best friend so it does it won't always be love sometimes you'll be moody and you don't want to talk to this person but if you really did love like you know so it, it sometimes it won't always be love i hope you guys get my point i feel like i'm not properly explaining that point but if you like i just hope that you guys get it it's it won't always be love it won't always be love like my next point my favorite i keep saying all the points are my favorite because really they all are but you guys should try one thing that we learned or one thing that we've been doing since we started dating which i love so much he thought me actually i didn't know that it left it was left for me <laughs> but always try to solve your problems before what we do or our philosophy is we always try to solve our problems before sunrise so the the thing is if we get angry with each other or if we have a problem or whatsoever we don't we make sure that we don't sleep on it we make sure that before the next day that problem is solved we're not going into the next day with the problem and we started doing this in our relationship so this is not even a marriage thing we didn't learn this in our marriage and it has actually really helped so we brought it into the marriage and now it has been very helpful we solve our problems like head on and then we're over with it moving on with life getting the money like we have to work and get money we can't be fighting nobody has time okay so always try to solve your problems always try to solve and another thing in addition to the problems always try to not involve third parties in your relationship problems especially your marriage prob problems relationship problems is fine relationship problems you know and i see i don't have a problem because it's just relationship but marital problems i'd say no don't invite a third par party in your marital problems because it further brings issues that you don't see coming like you don't see them erupting but over time they build and then you guys will regret it never do it like never do it and my point number eight always work together wait let me be sure that that's here yeah. always work together and share ideas that's also one thing that we do a lot we're always sharing our ideas like he helps me with everything my youtube everything when i take a picture before i post it i make sure that i'm asking him it's not like i make sure i ask him is this cool like is my edits when i edit photos or like when i'm changing my edits like when i'm posting on youtube like when he's doing his poetry stuff you know like everything that he does photography videography like everything he'll also ask me my inputs like you know so always like try to share ideas so that you guys grow together and that way it also helps the relationship to grow because you know what this party is thinking or what this party wants to do and they know what you want to do as well and it makes the relationship nice and smooth <laughs> that's actually point number nine guys <laughs> and now point number 10 point number 10 i was actually a little skeptical about writing it but it really is important one thing that i have learned is that you guys should pray together if you're a prayer person manifest or meditate together if you're a manifestation and meditation person so pray manifest make sure that your the universe and god has a place in your relationship because really it's important that's all i can say about it so yeah that's the last point and these are things that i would definitely pass on to my daughter so i felt like i should share it with you guys i'm glad that i got to share all of this with you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked any of the points that i shared with you or if you and your partner 
practice any of the things that I shared with you, then definitely comment below. Let me know. Also about the love languages, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. So definitely check it out and take a test with your partner. Know your love languages so that your relationship grows stronger. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see a video of how this look was created. This is a beautiful, like everyday, no lush look. So check my Instagram out if you want to see how it was created. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. I love you. Mwah. See you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> so awkward. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>